Welcome to Tech Binomial. In this tutorial, you are going to see how to use the local notification API, which provides a way to schedule device notification locally, that is without uh, server sending push notifications. So let's start with the creation of a Ionic Angular application. Create a Ionic Angular blank capacitor application. Install the capacitor local notification API. Sing the application with the Android. We will add the user permission in the Android manifest file. In the Android folder, open the Android manifest.xml and add the permission. In the capacitor.config.ts file, we will add the plugin for local notification. We will remove this uh, two properties and keep only the icon color. On the HTML, We'll take one button and define the method schedule notification. Schedule notification, we will first define the options. Schedule options. Here we define the options for the notifications. These are the basic fields. We will call the schedule notification method here. Schedule. Provide the options. application with the emulator here we'll get the local notification options Enable it. So here you will get the small icon for the notification. If you check here, local notification. Now here you can watch the color of the icon is showing the blue color. We have changed the color here. Check for the notification. Now here you can observe that the color of the icon get changed. Now under the Android folder, we will get the main and resources, drawable. Here added a few icons. Now how to assign these icons in the notification? So, You can set the large icon and small icon. So specify here the name of the icon file without the extension. Now you can observe here the small icon get changed. Then in the notification the small icon as well as large icon both are set. So under the options add one more notification, we will check here, now it is showing the count 2, expand it 
will get the two notifications if any method cancel notification schedule notifications we got here two notifications okay then click on cancel now see here the second one is cancelled now here we will define a method to remove all the delivered notifications two notifications then remove all so here the small icon removed and no notifications define a method get deliver notifications and here we will display it in the alert so let's check two notifications are delivered safe in the emulator uh, under the notification you will get here the manage option in the app setting you will get your app name and if you scroll here you will find that it's showing the one channel by the name default and its permissions so if you open the default let's create a channel now the id of the channel is channel 1 and for our second notification we will set here the channel id sorry as channel 1 Now here you will get the channel 1. So it's the first channel description, channel 1 name of the channel and you can set all these settings. Now assign its ID to our first notification. Create the channels, schedule our notifications, it's working, then manage. Now you can observe here both the channels. Here is option show notification. So now using this the user can disable the notification from particular channel. Now this is our second notification. And for the channel 1. So channel Two notification is not displayed here the list channel method returns the list of available channels now under the Android folder you will get here the resources create a new folder with the name RAW raw and here I have added one WAV files in the capacitor config you have the sound options just specify the name of the file we will add the schedule property say every 
second so repeat the same one we'll check on the emulator so here the icon appears and if you check here you will get that two notifications are delivered so this is all about the local notifications api with the capacitor i hope this tutorial will help you